Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another inspiring story on the Dr. Renuka David Wellness Show. Many of us graduate, postgraduate and hold on jobs related to what we studied or absolutely not related to what we studied. We continue for a couple of years and then we realize we're not enjoying what we are doing. We in fact start hating our jobs and then decide to do something which is more passionate to your calling. We switch careers, we do something that we're enjoying doing, we kind of put our heart and soul and try to make it work. Your profession might rock, but then you face a major hurdle. You hit rock bottom. What's going to happen? How are you going to deal with that? Well, today my guest is Anju Shankar. She's a graduate in fine arts, art history and designing. She felt her calling was in graphic designing and hence she started working in that field. But after a period of time, she realized her heart wasn't there. She decided to switch careers. Her grandfather was a costume designer for over 3000 films and she decided to follow his footsteps. So she started designing costumes for lot of ad films for celebrity and contestant in TV shows but then she realized her heart wasn't there either. On her mother's advice she thought she should pursue what she was passionately in love with and that was starting her own label and she did exactly that. She started her label did extremely well with her partner and then suddenly faced a major hurdle and how did she cope with that welcome to my show Anju thank you it's Pleasure so is mine. <laughs> lovely having you thank and you. what a journey I know it's been quite a journey to be where we are right now so and Anju you've been holding a comfortable cushy yeah. job you stepped out of your comfort zone and then you started doing something totally different so how did all this happen uh, it was definitely a roller coaster ride I mean uh, I was into uh, graphic designing for almost a year shifted jobs and shifted almost five to six jobs. And five to yes, six jobs. Easily. I wow. was just, I used to do well. The projects were good. I loved the pressure and deadlines. Everything was so nice. But there was just something missing at the end of the day. Mm. So I thought the next would be better. The next would be better. But then it didn't get better at all. It was just the same monotonous job. Uh, job. Mm. So after that, I took off for some time and I was thinking, what exactly is my calling? Right. And I used to love making clothes for my family, my cousins, my okay. friends and everyone. So. Right. I thought, okay, fine, let's do that mm -hmm. for a while, mm -hmm. you know, let's do that. For and all kind of clothes. Yes, yes, everything, Indian, Western, I used to do everything at that time, you know. Right. Someone used to just come and say, Anju, just put this together for me and I used to do that for them. And you enjoyed it. Yes, I loved doing it. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, uh, okay, I got a job in one of uh, the channels on TV and it was for a music reality show. Okay. So I was designing for their uh, contestants and celebrity singers and, right. and then I shifted to ad films. I was doing a lot of ad films actually. Wow. But then even after that, it You're was still happy. clothing but... I was not really so happy. So what was it? It was like a restlessness inside yes, you? Yes, I was very restless. I'm like, it's. I'm, I'm, I was not content at the end of the day. I, and here you were getting well paid. Yes, and everything uh, was perfect. perfect. Recognition, identity, the contracts I was making, everything was on point. But I was not happy at the end of the day. And you were you just so not happy. I was just not happy. So then yeah. again, I, you know, I just took off and I was at home for like almost six months. And I used to tell my mom, like, I'm not, I don't know what to do. Right. So uh, I was still doing clothes for like friends. I was designing blouses and hmm. I was doing my friend's wedding. You know, I used to take a photo. Yes. and whatever. Yes, so yeah. I was doing that. And then one fine day, my mom said, you know, why don't you start your own unit? Why don't you set up a unit and mm. make clothes and sell it for other people? Mm. Like what you're doing for your family and friends, do it, you know, professionally. professionally. Why don't mm. you do that? And take it as a career. Yes, take it as a career, you know, start mm. your own label, have mm. your own brand. And mm. that really stuck a chord in my mind. I thought, mm. okay, fine. That, that I don't know. The second my mom mentioned that to me, mm -hmm. it was like life changing. Mm. So I thought, okay, let's see where it goes. Let's see how to set it up. And that's when I was discussing about this to my friend, Sujata. She's my partner. Right. So we were best friends. Right. So and she was also interested in getting into clothing and mm. set it up. And I said, mm. okay, let's partner and let's start something and let's set it up. 
and you started with so, one tailor just one tailor there was a small room in my house like in the ground floor so we thought let's just start because we didn't want any major investment and, and you then didn't it know backfired how it's going to go yes exactly also. because this is new hmm. and 6 years back startups were just coming yeah, you know it's like yeah. it's not how it is right now right so it was just a small room with one tailor he is still with me okay so <laughs> just one tailor and we thought let's just design a set of sarees to start off with just about 30 designs and put it up online and see how it goes hmm. so that was when facebook was really picking up with Absolutely. regards to customer base and business and stuff so at that time there were only two brands that were selling on facebook mine and one more so uh, the first collection did so well and the first collection itself spread abroad to us to uh, canada to dubai i had so many customers from all over the world with my first collection itself wow so that really gave us a good boost you know saying mm -hmm. okay we are on the right track now let's just see how we're going to expand it so then every week we launched a collection i used to design i used to source everything get the sarees done shoot put it up so every collection it just getting kept kept getting more and more and more and the restlessness went absolutely not <laughs> i was i used to sleep peacefully i used to be so tired i sleep only at two designing thinking where to source what and so but i used to wake up so happy and i i used to look forward to what i was doing so i Though had it wasn't no initially paying well but then subsequently definitely definitely we knew up. we were on the right track we knew that this business is very good it has a good uh, future and uh, so we we still went ahead with it without any second thoughts and, and then suddenly the road block you had three back to back uh, yes yes setbacks. probably after three years i mean two years the business was running well we we were like going on a very decent graph we shifted we hired five more tailors and uh, i hired a web team we had we launched our website everything was going fine and then yes there were nothing gets big without road blocks so Absolutely. we had like three major hits one was with regards to the company and the other two was my personal, personal. Uh, your father was diagnosed of cancer yes, yes. in july yes, and he passed absolutely. away in december yes that so was that a must major, have been uh, that was a major hit for me so i mean i obviously you know how father daughter relationship that so he used to be a very big support for me with regards to work like he used to tell me try doing this try doing that you know giving me ideas and stuff So at that time we were facing a big hurdle with regards to a company as well and uh, exactly at the same time I had to face the same thing with my father so it's like same thing happened at the same time like one day I had to face the issue with company and the next day I see my dad's uh, health health report and it was not even like he has 2 years or 3 years it was just bang on he has 6 months and they gave a date written on the report so that was like a huge Huge, shock. huge hit for me. Huge shock. Huge and shock, uh, in yeah. business, someone else uh, thought that you were stealing the label, and you yes, know, yes, we had some trademark issues. Yes, yeah. we had some trademark uh, issues going on, and uh, we had a, la a lawsuit that we faced at that time. At that time, it was all at the same time. At the same time. And same then I think time. you that and your months was yeah, and you and your fiance also had problems. Yes, you were on the verge of split up. Yes. Wow. So that so, was like a rock bottom stage. Yes, it was a rock bottom, definite rock bottom for me at that particular time. Right. So we were handling uh, the lawsuit. at one side my partner was handling that she was traveling extensively and you know she was making sure that is going on fine and i was taking care of things over here and uh, i had to spend time with my father because he didn't have much time so i used to go i used to work i used to come back be with him and i just i just did that i was like a machine that particular 6 months so just, yeah. and then in spite of all that all these roadblocks she faced this lawsuit which nearly closed her company After this very short break, we're going to learn more about this terrible road roadblock and how she dealt with it.